Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of digital logic design. Today we will study standard and non-standard form of a boolean equation. So far we have studied two canonical form. First one is sum of product and second one is product of sums. These two canonical forms of a boolean algebraic expression are the basic form that one obtained from reading a given function or from the truth table. These forms are very rarely used with least number of literals because each min term or max term by definition of canonical form must contain all the variables either in the complemented form or in uncomplemented form. So we have another way to express a boolean equation of function is in the standard form. In this configuration, the terms that form the function may contain 1, 2, or any number of literals. In canonical form, it was obligatory that each min term or max term must contain all the variables of a function either in complemented or uncomplemented form, where in the standard form, there is no such restriction. We have two types of standard form. The first one is the sum of products and the second one is the product of sums. Now we will study sum of product. The sum of product is a boolean expression containing n terms called the product terms with one or more literals in each term. And all the product terms or the n terms are added or odd, like we have studied in the case of canonical form. An example of sum of product function is expressed as f1 equals sum of y prime, xy, and x prime y z prime the overall function consists of three variables x y and z where the three product terms have one two and three literals their sum is in effect an or operation now the logical diagram of sum of product expression consists of group of and gates followed by a single or gate Now if we make gate diagram of the previous example, each product term requires an AND gate except for the term with a single literal. The logical sum is formed with an OR gate whose inputs are the output of the AND gate and the single literal. Now here it is assumed that input variables are directly available in their complemented form so inverters are not included in the diagram. The circuit configuration is referred as two level implementation because if you look at a diagram the circuit is overall implemented in two levels at first level the and operation is performed followed by a or operation and this completes a two level representation and this is the basic benefit of sum of product or product of sum forms now we will study another form which is product of sum a product of sum is a boolean expression that contain all terms or the sum terms and these sum terms can have any number of literals it can be 1 2 3 and so on and product of all these sum terms is taken by ending these terms now as example of product of sums consider the given function f2 the function is equal to the product of x and y prime plus z and x prime plus y plus z prime the given expression is in the form of product of sum and it contain three terms and the terms contain one two and three literals and the product of these terms is taken using and operation now for the previous example if we make a schematic or the gate structure it will consist of group of or gates for the sum terms except a term which consists of a single literal followed by an AND gate. This is shown in the figure B. This standard type of expression results in two level structure of gates. At first level, OR operation is performed for the sum terms and for the product, all of these terms are multiplied using AND gate. So it results in two level implementation. Now, the use of product and sum stems from the similarity of the AND operation to the arithmetic product or the multiplication and the similarity of the OR operation to the arithmetic sum 
or the addition. Now we will study non-standard form. A Boolean function can also be expressed in a non-standard form. For example, consider the given function f3. f3 equals a dot b plus c into sum of d and e. The function is neither in the sum of product form nor in the product of sum form. So the given expression is in the non-standard form. Now if we implement the function f3, this is shown in the figure c. The implementation requires two AND gates and two OR gates. At first for parenthesis, d and e are added or ORed using OR gate and the result obtained is multiplied with variable c using AND gate. And to parallel this, a and b are multiplied and finally an OR gate is used to obtain the final output f3 and the function is implemented in the three levels of gating. Now the given function can be changed into a standard form. In the case of function f3 we will use distributive law to remove the parenthesis and the function will results into the sum of product of a and b, c and d and c and e. Now with this transformation the given non-standard function is changed into a standard form of sum of product. Now this standard form function can be implemented using two levels implementation and its gate structure is shown in the figure d. Now in general the two level implementation is preferred because it produces the least amount of delay through the gates when the signal propagates from one input to the output. However, the number of inputs to the given gate might not be the practical one. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.